Hundreds protest conservative speaker at UC Berkeley A few hundred people protested outside Zellerbach Hall, where conservative commentator Ben Shapiro spoke Thursday evening at the University of California, Berkeley. The demonstrators were peaceful, with some chanting against fascism, white supremacists and President Donald Trump. Others were holed up Thursday inside a student building, waving signs protesting the university's decision to allow the event featuring the former editor at Breitbart News. Inside the hall, Shapiro addressed a friendly crowd. He encouraged people to hold civil discussions with people who have different opinions, saying that's what America is all about. He condemned white supremacists as a very small select group of absolutely terrible people who believe absolutely terrible things. The campus and surrounding Berkeley streets were under tight security after a series of previous events turned violent. Officers arrested at least three protesters early Thursday evening. Police identified two of the arrestees as Sarah Roark, 44, of San Francisco and Hannah Benjamin, 20, of Fremont. Roark was arrested on suspicion of carrying a banned weapon and Benjamin was arrested on suspicion of battery on a police officer and carrying a banned weapon, according to police. Onlookers told KPIX5 that a female activist had been stopped from bringing a sign into the designated protest area where Telegraph Avenue runs into the edge of campus because it did not meet campus guidelines for signs at the event. She was escorted away from the protest area. Onlookers also said that the woman who was arrested sped on officers. That is considered assault, and she was quickly put into zip ties and taken away by officers. Otherwise, the group that was protesting the appearance by the conservative commentator remained peaceful as of early Thursday evening. A loudspeaker was set up for speakers to voice their views as a growing crowd of several hundred protesters waved signs. Authorities were taking unprecedented measures on Thursday to keep the protests against Shapiro speaking at Zellerbach Auditorium peaceful. War crews erected concrete barriers on the streets leading into campus. Busy Bancroft Way was walled off, and all parking on it banned. A heavy police presence was already visible on the streets by 12 p.m. Those attending the speech at 7 p.m. waited in long lines to pass through a metal detector prior to entering Zellerbach. Police in riot gear seemed to be everywhere. Authorities said that they planned to confront any protesters wearing masks to keep them off of campus and would have zero tolerance for violence in the designated protest area. Authorities sealed off the campus's central hub, Sproul Plaza, the student union in Zellerbach Hall, creating a perimeter around several buildings. There were checkpoints on campus where only ticket holders and students who had classes on the other side of the barrier were allowed through. The walkway in front of Zellerbach Hall, the site of Thursday's speech, was littered with shock messages Thursday afternoon condemning fascism and xenophobia. Nearby, the Bank of America boarded up its ATMs to prevent vandalism during the protest. Earlier in the day, UC Berkeley freshman Matthew Barnett said he, like many of his fellow students, was a little stunned as he looked over the preparations underway on campus for the speech by Shapiro. The idea that we should have all this security just to have one person speak is a little insane, Barnett told KPIX5. Meanwhile, law student Anthony Jenny said he was going to the speech to hear what Shapiro had to say. They, the protesters, are demoting Ben Shapiro for being a fascist. Meanwhile they are targeting people with conservative views and trying to ruin their lives, he told KPIX5. We do not initiate violence, said son Sarah Taylor, a member of RefuseFascism.org. But we do believe people have the right to self-defense. It's of legal and immoral right. University officials said they would not allow anyone wearing masks, carrying shields or anything that can be used as a weapon near Zellerbach Hall. There will be an increased and highly visible police presence, the university said in a statement. And for the first time in two decades, officers were authorized to use pepper spray to control violence after the city council modified a 1997 ban at an emergency meeting this week. City of Berkeley Police Chief Andrew Greenwood said officers would make very strong rapid arrests of protesters wielding weapons and wearing masks. The city and the UC Berkeley campus have become a flashpoint for the country's political divisions, drawing extremist groups from the left and right. Four political demonstrations have turned violent in Berkeley since February, prompting officers to come up with new strategies to control rowdy and sometimes dangerous crowds.